I'll go first. <laughs> so, it's good to be here uh, on stage with Jonah Hill, Never Call You Back. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Davey kind of reminds me of a receptionist you hire after the old one got fired for fucking the CEO. Give it up for brain injury, Ken. Max calls himself a feminist, and by feminist, he's a liar. Max believes in a woman's right to choose so long as she chooses the black strap on. I watched a few of Michelle's roasts, and a lot of people make the joke that she's gonna die childless, which is not true. Michelle has two kids, they just, they live in a gingerbread house in the woods. <laughs> you look like you sneak into locker rooms to smell the benches. You look like you smell like the benches. <laughs> Michelle is in her 30s, uh, she's single, and she has two cats. So I know what you're thinking. No way! <laughs> she has such a fun and chill vibe. A lot of people have joked that Max looks like a date rapist. Oh. And um, I just don't see it. Not that I don't think he would, I just don't think he has $100. You don't look like a date rapist, you look like a, hey, can you Venmo me for this taco date rapist? It's true, when I go to the barbershop, I say, just, I don't know, give me a corporate frat guy look, but when Michelle goes to the barbershop, she says, dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's very funny, Alexander Scar's tarred. <laughs> Max is so fucking dumb. I taught him how to spell his name. He was like, use it in a sentence. I was like, okay, Max. The gay bar is at max capacity. This is, this is fun. You know, I'd always wondered what would happen if uh, Princess Leia and Jabba the Hutt worked it out and had a kid. <laughs> is proof that you can take the kid out of the bus station, but you can't stop him from drinking a stranger's piss. Uh, Michelle Davy, it's good to be here with her. She, uh, Michelle is actually a name with French origins. It means, who resembles God? And Davy is a Gaelic word, and it means, yeah, right. <laughs> may be a broke comedian slash barista, but not for long. He's waiting on a big settlement. And if you too were a victim of Boy Scouts of America, <laughs> financial compensation is still available. You also look like a victim of the Boy Scouts of America. You look like you just lost custody of your kids, so. Oh man, that one didn't really land. Kind of like how your fork doesn't really land in salads. <laughs> Max is gay and retarded. <laughs> and a little bit jacked. You don't want to catch yourself in a dark alley with Max unless you're in for some rough gay sex. <laughs> and there we go! Yeah, I yeah, want yeah, to go. Okay, I was, all right. Michelle, uh, she's gotten into several uh, physical altercations with other comedians. I just gotta say, Michelle, if you burn all these bridges, where are you gonna ask your riddles? <laughs> This is true. Max has a stupid fucking tattoo of a wolf on his thigh because inside of Max there are two wolves and they're both disappointing his parents. <laughs> and that's a battle! Here we go! All right, here we go. Chris. 
Chris Grieco, how are you? Um, I'm okay. I want to know how Max is feeling. Max, Max delivered a lot of those jokes like he had to like kill his mentor at the end of the movie. <laughs> like he didn't want to, like the one Denzel tear went down. He's like, I'm sorry I have to do this, but you're fat. <laughs> wow. I mean, listen, I, I think, I, I just want to get it out of the way. I think Max won. I think I, I was counting joke for joke and I think all of his jokes hit. He got a battle chant and the haircut joke. Mm -hmm. I had to reel for three jokes. Like me and Aaron were looking at each other like, did he just do the haircut retarded voice thing? <laughs> crazy, crazy. And ever, you all laughed at it. Don't get weird now, woman with the fucking mouth. I see you. you all laughed like piece of mouth. shit. <laughs> mouth lady. But I want to say this, Michelle, the date rapist, your third date rapist show was amazing. Max Capacity was amazing, and the Boy Scouts of America one. Those are like top three jokes of the night, honestly. Like in the fucking running. Max just had you out with consistency. I love that battle, great job. All right, one for Max, one for Max. Here we go, Aaron Klein, Aaron Klein, Aaron Klein. There you are. I'm gonna use two mics. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Right, hang on, no. uh, I hate how much I like the Max's haircut joke. <laughs> it's like when me and my dad watch Austin Powers Gold Member. We're like, this is peak comedy right here. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy good. I did, I looked at Greco a few times, and then you gave me a little eyebrow, Max. <laughs> yeah, that was for you, Eric. Naughty boy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really good, but I have to give it to Max. All right, two yeah. for Max. I'll shake it up. I'll go to Chris Damon. I'll go to Chris Damon. I'll shake it up. Hell yeah, I like, Michelle, you came out strong, but Max just, you went max power. I know that was weak, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah, but I really enjoyed uh, Max, your uh, benches come back. That was awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it to you. Thank you. All right, there we go. Max gets it, Robot Hill. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a good battle. Um, that was one of those things where it's like a um, seasoned vet going against a newcomer, Michelle. Great jokes, baby. Just calm down, relax, take them a little bit less serious. Max was just hitting them with the bangers and then the comebacks and then the job of the hut, then the salads. <laughs> then we got, then we got mother Denny called a retard without saying retard. She had to say retard to come back. So you know, that's double retard. That's pretty much. <laughs> that ain't never bad. But good battle. Um, Max just had more uh, come outs and then more comebacks. But great job, Michelle. Love you, baby. Courtney, Courtney, right here. Hell yeah, dude. What a battle, guys. Uh, Michelle, you know you're my bitch, you my dog, dude, but that was a goddamn bloodbath. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Uh, I loved your Boys Cuts of America joke, and I would have done the exact same thing if I was in your position. If he had done that to me, I would have been like, you're gay and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was a bloodbath. You guys are great. I had to get that one to Max. All right. Thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.